Let's bring in Virtue's investment partner, chief market strategist Joe Terranova, who joins the conversation in the market zone. Joe, welcome. What, what do you make of this now two-day rebound for the Nasdaq? First up day for the S&P in, in the last six. Did it just get too overdone? Well, I think the, the, the institutional and hedge fund money beginning in December began to kind of rotate in a very defensive way. They were capturing positions in healthcare, consumer staples. They were moving away from a lot of the emerging uh, growth stocks. And that positioning continued. And I think, Sarah, basically the market was very short uh, yesterday morning. And you're seeing right now a short covering rally. I think that short covering rally is very well timed. Once again, the S&P 500 holds its 100-day moving average. But I think it also places the market in a great position because we did not or will not have that technical breakdown as we move into earnings. So now, you know, the, the fundamentals of earnings can shine forth once again. And, Sarah, let's remember what a positive catalyst those earnings were for the market in reversing the decline from September through the early part of October. Some of the hardest hit names, I'm looking at Peloton, working really well today, up more than 6%. The Chinese Internet stocks, PayPal. IBM, though, the worst performer on the Dow after getting a downgrade to sell huh. at UBS. The firm sees near-term risks to the company's operating estimates and elevated valuation, which leaves shares of IBM, quote, vulnerable, according to UBS, in the next 12 months, lowered the price target on the stock to 124 from 136. Joe, I, I don't know. Elevated valuation for IBM? I, I guess it's all relative. Uh, Sarah, I, th I think it's more. And I was, I was polling for Alabama last night, but they just couldn't execute in the red zone. And I think IBM is, is an example of exactly that in technology. They have just had this inability to execute while everyone else in the technology sector is doing it. So there's other places I could go when I'm looking at value technology. Uh, I could initiate a position in an Oracle or a Cisco or a Qualcomm. They're executing better than IBM. And I still think this is a company that has to prove itself over a multi-quarter period. And they just haven't done it.